morning, good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining this connect. My name is Sagar Kapoor and I'm part of a customer success team at Tableau. So this connect is all about connecting you with the art of data visualization and storytelling. It was started as a pilot project with one of the Tableau ambassadors in India, Divya Bharti, and the whole purpose was how exactly we can go ahead and start a platform in which people can come and share their best practices, tips and tricks, inspiring stories about Tableau. So we started in May 2018, 2019, sorry, and so far we have gone ahead and hosted close to 32 sessions, 39 speakers, Tableau Zen Master plus Zen Master Hall of Fame. We have so far reached out to 6,000 attendees. We have a YouTube channel in which we have close to 700 subscribers, a LinkedIn group in which people can go ahead and connect with each other. And this has been possible with the help of amazing community, all our Tableau Zen masters, ambassadors, who have gone ahead, taken their time to just go ahead and share their best practices with the community. So thank you to all of them. And, and that's the beauty of going ahead and connecting with the community, right? You can see the feedback which you're getting from people. They're really engaged in this connect. So I was talking about go ahead and subscribe to our West Connect YouTube page. Some amazing content is waiting for you. We have a LinkedIn group by the name of West Connect. Go ahead, connect with each other, share some best practices and learn and start learning from each other. So coming back to today's session, one thing as we are a data company, we try to analyze what impact this connect is having, right? So one thing which I try to analyze is that how many people have attended the this connect session before, right? So surprisingly for this session, we have 64% who are attending this connect session for the first time. And you can see over here, people are joining us from around the world. That's the impact we have created for this connect. One thing which I'm very particular about trying to analyze how many people have Tableau public profile and why it is important to have it, we will discuss today with our speaker. And one thing just to make our <clears throat> sessions more impactful, we try to analyze which particular version of Tableau text we are really using. So we launched last week 2020.2, some amazing features. Go ahead and check it out. So coming back to our today's speaker, I think I he doesn't need an introduction from my side. He's a Tableau magician. The community loves him. So Tong Hong, welcome to Wisconnect. Tong has over 15 years of experience in BI, data management, big data, data lakes, internet of things, data visualization, and data analytics space. The last six years has been dedicated to delivering end-to-end -end solutions using Tableau. He's a Tableau Zen master and founder of Tableau Magic. He's a vivid programmer, salsa instructor, events promoter, and loves to talk technology, data, and Tableau. And today, Ton will talk us through about Tableau APIs and unexpected journey. Ton, over to you. Yeah, let me just share my screen. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Loading tall. Let me know when you can see it and we can get started. Yes, we can see your screen. Perfect. Well, Saga, so thanks for the introduction and thank you for welcoming me on to talk to everyone. Being able to speak to the members of the Tableau community is always a blessing. And today I want to talk about Tableau APIs, an unexpected journey. Now, the key behind this is that I had several requests to talk more about APIs. They're becoming more dominant. So I wanted to create one session to introduce the concept. This won't be a programming session, but hopefully by the end of this, you will understand a bit more about what is available. So an application programming interface, API, is a computer interface which defines interactions between multiple software intermediaries, i.e., in basic English, it means software being able to talk to each other, different programs being able to connect. Tableau has several APIs, and we will explore many of them in today's session. Bear in mind, we only have about an hour, so I'll try to cover as many of them as possible. 
bit about me. My name is Tuan Huang. Hopefully some of you know me. If you don't, hi, hello. I'm from London, England. I'm the founder of Tableau Magic, which is a website dedicated to all things Tableau from SQL to useful visualizations to introductions. This came as a bit of a surprise, but Tableau invited me to become a Zen master this year. It was quite an honor and yeah, it's been an interesting journey since. As mentioned, I'm a technology enthusiast. I love things, all things technology, from playing to coding to trying to break. And more than that, I'm a dedicated learner. Some of you might have seen pictures of my bookshelves. I read absolutely everything. But we're not here to talk about me. This talk is about Tableau APIs. Why? Because they're increasing in number. Every single release has some update to an API or a new API being introduced. They are also becoming more important, as we will demonstrate going through this session. The key aspect is that learning a Tableau API is a journey. And that journey I'm hoping I would encourage you all to go on by sharing my personal journey. And that's what we are going to do in this talk. Hopefully you're still tuned in. Hopefully you're not run away and think, oh God, this guy's boring. So we'll move on. With any good story, with any good journey, there's a beginning. My beginning was in 1985 when I got a Commodore 64. I don't know if you have ever used one of those, but it's the type of system that you have to use a tape cassette recorder to actually load information. It's pretty awesome. It also gives away my age. I became a massive advocate and trying to program computer games for the longest time. I love programming. I was programming since I was four or five years old when I first got my PC, uh, computer. In 2000, focus on computer science with a specialist in artificial intelligence, networking, and computer graphics. That was my good old university years. However, in 2004, when I started my career, I gave all that away and took a career in business intelligence. What does that actually mean for me? It meant that learning assembly language, C, C++, Java, HTML, all of these technologies were removed for the most part. I started thinking about report building, data analytics, being an ETL developer, looking at data warehouses. I'm sure for most of you, this is, pro especially if you come from a computer science background, this is going to be quite familiar. You learn all the programming, you learn how to build applications. And then when you get into BI, you realize that there is a slightly different skill set. We're looking at how we can work with the business. And therefore, I did not think I would ever program again in my life. Well, as a hobby, probably. As a profession, probably not. And that takes me to my unexpected journey because I did actually end up programming a lot more today than ever before. And what I'm going to do is tell you why and how I got into this. What value did I get from this journey? Especially because of the journey that the APIs actually gave an opportunity to go on. So, things were going well for me. I was managing Tableau installations. I was managing Tableau infrastructure. Everything was going really, really well. You couldn't imagine delivering data visualizations, self-service BI. I love self-service BI. Enable the business to enable themselves. And delivering data analytics. This was my life. This was my career. Everything was going swimmingly well. But then one day, I got the following. And if you've ever had this, you'll probably know what I mean. I got a note on my desk. I'm, I always kind of get a bit itchy when someone leaves a poster on my desk, and this one was more interesting than most. We have a reporting hub and we want to embed Tableau. Sure. That's not a problem, is it? We all know how to do that. Easily done. We can just embed the Tableau data visualization. Very nice and simple, right? Okay. Let's talk to the guy, see what is up. Okay, integrated look and feel. Sure, they have a reporting hub which is bringing in information on multiple systems they want a consistent look and feel. We can do that. We can format Tableau to make this happen. 
We want the visualization to be controlled from the reporting hub. That's the challenge. How do we get that to happen? How do we integrate such that Tableau is the canvas? All the controls happen externally. We also want additional functionality to be involved from the reporting hub, just like with any other application. This actually gave me a step back because I did not know how to do this. So I had to Google it. This is where I found the Tableau JavaScript API. The Tableau JavaScript API allows you to integrate hosted Tableau content into web applications. So if your content is on Tableau public, online or server, you can use the Tableau JavaScript API to integrate and to bring these dashboards into your web applications. You can display, dynamically load and resize, filter the data. This was key for this particular project. We can also select mocks. How interesting is that? You could have buttons where when you select, it highlights a group of marks in your dashboard. You can also respond to events. And this was a key piece of functionality to export your visualization. So all of this was available in the Tableau JavaScript API. But what is JavaScript? JavaScript is a programming language that allows you to implement complex features on web pages. When I first developed my web page, first web page, there wasn't much that you can do. Nowadays, all web pages are interactive. They're all very well controlled. I just got a note. Is my voice low? Do I need to speak louder? Can you all hear me? Okay, I'm going to carry on unless told otherwise. Hopefully you can all hear me. Hi, Don. It's, it's good. Yep. Please go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, go ahead. Okay. Sorry. So stuff okay. just popped up on my screen. Oh, oh, where was I? Yes. Modern web pages consist of three technologies. HTML that provides the structure. That's what you see. CSS that provides the look and feel, and JavaScript that provides behavior. And JavaScript is the reason why your websites are extremely dynamic, that there's a lot of functionality with it. And that's the technology that Tableau has enabled us to use to embed data visualizations into our custom web apps. However, I've not programmed in many, many years. So what was my approach? Well, I refreshed my learning my understanding of these three technologies, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Remember JavaScript, because that's going to pop up a lot later. I went through the exercises on the Tableau website. There is a suite of amazing exercises that shows you the various functionality you can perform using the Tableau JavaScript API. Then I used codepen.io to actually build some sample applications. Yes, I did not download a single piece of software to do this. I used W3C tutorials, which are amazing. I looked at the Tableau samples by the website, which allows you to build or look at different functionality within the Tableau JavaScript API. And I used CodePen, which is an online code editor that allowed me to embed visualizations. So I was able to pick this up quite quickly. And then the most important thing is to have an understanding of the Tableau JavaScript API, and this is the key. This is what I want you to take away. Using the JavaScript library, you can programmatically embed a hosted data visualization into your web application. Using a reference, so once you embed, you create a reference to the object, you can connect functionality from your website into your Tableau dashboard. And guess what? It was not too difficult. A lot of information is out there. A lot of resources are available to you. Now, why is the JavaScript API very important? It allows you, it allows us to embed data into strategic locations. And it allows us to make data even more available for everyone. 
That's the power of the Tableau JavaScript API. Increases the usage of data. So, however, this is where the story becomes even more entertaining. I got another note. We have seen what you did with the reporting hub. Can we talk about our command center? What on earth is a command center? Given the wide scale use of Tableau, the IT administrators want to administer Tableau via their own command center. Imagine if you work in IT support and you're supporting tens, thousands of applications. Wouldn't it be nice to have a single place where you could administrate everything as opposed to remembering dozens, hundreds of logins? That is what they wanted. This was an enterprise organization. This is where we have the Tableau REST API. The Tableau REST API allows you, it provides an API programming interface to allow you to manage users, workbooks, connections, and other resources. By using this, you can literally manage your Tableau server programmatically from anywhere you want to, anywhere where you can invoke an API. What is REST? It's an important question. So REST is a software architectural style. I'm going to let you read this. The simple fact is that REST means creating endpoints. Those endpoints you can then connect to and make requests from. Tableau Server's REST API is based on the principle of REST. So again, there's a protocol for communication. REST is essentially that. What you define, how you can define interactions. A simple example, metaphor is a shop. Most of us go to shops around. There is a protocol in place. You bring your consumer goods that you want to purchase. You exchange money, you leave. That is a simple protocol. And REST is similar. REST will define what is available, how you interact, and what is the result. So what was my approach to learning REST? I did not know about much about REST when I started. So I took a refresher course. I went online, I googled information about REST, and I found a tool called Postman. Postman is a tool that you can use to involve services from a variety of places you could post request and i started doing that using some simple examples i started posting requests to tableau server to see how it works i didn't have to familiarize myself with the possible endpoints and possible requests because this is a service like most services they are limited in scope what you can or cannot do but the key was the rest api was my gateway to solving this command center challenge So my overall understanding of what happened in the end, we built several forms, web forms. Once you click submit, you will call the REST API or you use the REST API to call Tableau and make an action happen. Tableau online and server exposes this. You do have to adjust your settings though to enable. These management tasks that you can perform using the REST API are predefined. So you can't just create your own tasks. You can only use what Tableau has provided, although Tableau does update these on a regular basis. They do introduce more. And again, it was not too difficult. If you are currently an administrator, if you currently have time on your hands, I would seriously have a look at this and give it a shot. But the REST API allows you to perform management tasks in your Tableau server. The importance of REST. It allows you to programmatically administer the Tableau server, embed administrative capabilities into strategic places. Sorry if I'm moving at pace, but I'm just conscious of time. After working on these two projects, I started coding again. I would encourage everyone to start coding and programming because one, once you realize it's not too hard, it's actually fun, and there's a lot of amazing things you can do. So I started to look for new opportunities with an organization, as you do. You learn a new tool, you learn a new trick, and you try to apply it straight away. I was applying my coding. So therefore, I developed several applications on Google Firebase. 
one in particular gained a lot of attention. Very simple app, but it really worked well. And then I got a request from several key stakeholders, as you do. Can we get the data in your app into Tableau so we could report upon this? Isn't that always the way? You try to do something good and then suddenly they want you to do even more work. But the problem is Google Firebase is a database as a service platform and did not have, does not have, still as of today, does not have any real ODBC, JDBC connector that you can use. There are some paid services, but you can't download this easily. So what to do? This is where I investigated and looked at the Tableau Web Data Connector API. You can use the Web Data API to connect to data accessible over the web, HTTPS. A web data connector is just HTML code, so structural code that we've seen before, and JavaScript. Interesting that. What I found now was that my learning was accelerated. As the Tableau web data connector is made of, of HTML and JavaScript, something that I've already looked into because of my exploration prior, things went extremely quick. Understanding and looking at Tableau Web Data Connector took even less time than I could imagine. So much so that within eight hours, I wrote a tutorial on how to do it. So let's have a look at what the Web Data Connector actually is. So we have data sources. It could be a web data source. It could be a stock ticket. It can be anything that you can access via the web browser. What we will do is our Web Data Connector will connect to this data source and make it available in Tableau. After which you can refresh in the same way, you can publish in the same way. The key behind this is that through learning various APIs, I was able to now connect data extremely quickly in a unknown location or in a place that has not been connected before. I was able to do that for my clients. I was able to deploy and I was able to satisfy my stakeholders with a request that if I did not know about APIs, I would have had to say no. So that was the unexpected part of my journey. I did not expect to actually get involved in programming. I did not expect to get involved in coding. I had left all that behind. But now it's time for a new chapter. So after the Web Data Connector, I realized that APIs have a lot of value. So this is how I accidentally got back into programming. I noticed that the learning curve was flattening. With each API I learned, it was quicker, it was easier, it was simpler. As time managing Tableau was becoming second nature, as we do as we progress in our careers, integration became more focal. Yes, you can manage your users, you can manage your content, you can build dashboards, but how do we deliver? How do we integrate? How do we share information? How do we embed that information into key strategic points? Bringing data closer to the decision maker. And I noticed that by learning Tableau APIs, I was learning a skill that is only going to increase in demand. So this is what my mindset focused on. So I'll sign up to newsletters. There's a fantastic development community, development newsletters. They have Slack, they have monthly calls. I started joining those, listening, and keeping my eye on new developments. But this is not where my journey ends. A new challenge. So we're gonna move forward a few years now. I'm now heading up my larger BI team. Data is now at the point of exploding. This is during the height of the big data boom where every organization is collecting every morsel of data possible. And we were struggling to load data in an effective manner. We were moving hundreds of millions of records from various sources into our data warehouse on a nightly basis. That took about four hours in total. We were then creating an extract, which was taking one hour. However, unfortunately, we only had a six hour window to get all of this done. 
And as data was increasing, those four hours to load data into a data warehouse, that was only going to grow. Same as the one hour to create the extracts in Tableau, that was only going to grow. So therefore, we had to keep in mind, we only had a margin of say, of one hour, and we were going to breach that within a few months. What to do? This is where the Hyper API came in to solve the problem. The Hyper API contains a set of functions that allows you to interact with Tableau extracts .hyper files. This is awesome. FYI, we actually didn't use the Hyper file, we uh, Hyper API, we used the extract, but hey, let's go with the modern new technology. So the Hyper libraries are available in the following programming languages. So Python, C++, Java, .NET. So using this API, this set of technologies, we can actually connect to Hyper files. We can perform various tasks on them. So what was our solution? As we were using Python for our data pipeline, so that was Python scripts, Airflow, and a few other technologies, we decided to, at the same time as load the data into the data warehouse, is to build our Tableau extracts. So instead of waiting four hours, we are just going to build an extract as soon as the data is available. Once the hyperfiles were generated, we used the REST API, sounds familiar, to publish our extracts to our Tableau server. So you can see how the APIs are now connecting, that you have multiple purposes that you can use these APIs for, not just for administration. So near enough, we were able to remove those four hours. Those four hours that we took to load data into the data warehouse. Once the data was prepared, we put it in straight into an extract. We moved the intermediate step using an API technology. It did take an extra bit of time to get the data in there, but in the end, it was worth it. This is where, for me, my passion lies. More tools are better than none. As some of you know, I love creating things that are out of the box. I like experimenting with techniques and tools. So far in my career, I'd explore the JavaScript API to allow you to embed and interact with data visualizations in your own website. You looked at the REST API, or I looked at the REST API to allow you to administer and perform several tasks on the Tableau server. Web data connected to connect to a data source over the web, over HTTP. And then the, the hyper or the extract API to allow me to build extracts. This, this was becoming addictive. As you can see, we now are enabling more to happen with Tableau. More tools are better. This is where I guess some people might say I get karmic justice. So I started Tableau Magic in 2018. It feels like a lifetime ago, but Tableau Magic is still relatively new. The initial focus was on bespoke data visualizations. A member of our marketing team asked for a flow diagram. Yep, I promote a lot of out of the box stuff because I like to stretch the imagination and push technique to its boundaries. However, if you've ever seen Google Analytics, you'll see a lot of flow diagrams. Customer lands on the website, customer clicks on a page, customer purchases. Do you see those flows? Marketing team wanted to see it. Perfectly fine. I wrote them a tutorial, as you do. However, this is the marketing team. They were not developers. They like to do ad hoc queries, but they weren't going to look at data identification. They were not going to invest the amount of time to actually become full developers. So I needed a solution. This is where the Tableau extension API comes in. With the Tableau extension API, developers can create dashboard extensions, i.e. custom components that you could drag onto your dashboards. And then once on your dashboards can interact with other elements of the dashboard, whether or not it's to read data, to refresh a data source, to add a filter. Extensions are web pages with JavaScript code. How about that? As you can see, as you can imagine, this got me excited because I know these technologies now because of my journey, because I've been continually learning. 
to the same technologies that are used in the web data connectors and the JavaScript API. So let's look at the understanding of how, my understanding of how extensions work. You have a dashboard. Cool, huh? The Tableau extensions are dashboard components that have the ability to access dashboard object properties, to interact with other dashboard objects, to subscribe to dashboard events, and to produce some form of output. By the way, this slide is from a course that I'm going to be publishing free on how to build extra uh, Tableau extensions. So do keep an eye out on that one. This is all within a web application. So you'll build your extension as a web app and using JavaScript technology, using the library, the extension API, you'll be able to put them within the Tableau dashboard. Again, HTML for structure. CSS for the look and feel, JavaScript for the behavior. So that challenge was completed. And now as my second chapter comes to a close, I'm facing one more new challenge. I created fast forwarding until last month, funnily enough. Today, I own my own agency. One of my clients told me that they would like to subscribe to events. What does that mean? They want to be able to be notified when something happens on the Tableau server, and they heard about this new technology called Webhooks. Webhooks allows you to build custom applications or workflows that react to events that happen within Tableau. This has only been released as of Tableau 2019.4, but what it means is that you could tell Tableau to send notifications to a web application upon certain events. Now, the events are limited as of this moment. However, more should be added in the near future. For Tableau webhooks, you could find a lot of documentation on this at the moment. Each webhook is, is configured to subscribe to a single event. So that event could be refresh failed, refresh successful. And once these events happen, the Tableau server itself will post an event, an notification, onto a public URL for you to consume. That post would include JSON, so a data format, and also additional information such as IDs of the object in question. So again, with the kind of integration of APIs, you could use a REST API to pull out more information. This is the beautiful thing about learning about APIs is that there's a lot of interconnectivity between them. Sometimes you use one API, sometimes you use two. Because within our work streams, we'll want to have those options. How did you, how do we configure it? Well, we went and we visited an old friend. To configure a webhook, you can use Postman to send a webhook request to your Tableau server. You remember Postman? What we used to actually test out the REST API, we're using the same or similar technology. Slightly different requests, maybe a different endpoint. But this shows you how learning one, you learn more than you believe. But this is my current challenge. This is something that I'm looking to set up as of today. So this is a new challenge. However, a challenge that I'm fully equipped to face because I've spent time on other APIs as of now. This is where it becomes fun. So that takes us till today. The unknown journey, where am I going to next? The key here is that I'm going to be working more and more with APIs because more tablet APIs are being released with each new version. As I've already mentioned multiple times, because I've worked with several of the APIs already, picking up a new API becomes quicker, it becomes easier. However, there are some APIs that I have not yet touched and more that I want to explore and more that I want to introduce you to. 
This one is on my to-do list. As you know, we now have the ability to create or implement a data catalog within Tableau. It's a part of the data management add-on. The data catalog keeps information with regards to your objects within your Tableau server, mainly the relationship among content and assets. Using the metadata API and the graph query language, you can actually access this data. So if you look at the side when you're opening up your dashboard, if you have the catalog data management extension enabled, you can actually see how data is connected. You can see what objects related to which table within Tableau. You can see a lot of this information, and that's now available programmatically through an API. That's something that is definitely exciting to look at. The Tableau Analytics extension. Again, this is another extension that is fresh off the press, so to speak. It allows you to integrate Tableau with new programming languages. On Tableau Magic, integration with Python is one of the top articles. Now you can integrate with many, many other programming languages using this extension. I would highly, I would highly advise you to take a look at this. This one is just for fun because I have not really many use cases for it. However, I just need to do it. The connector software development kit allows you to build new connectors. So when you click on connectors and you have that big list of 50, 60, or however many there are nowadays, you can build your own. How cool is that? These connectors can be used, reused, shared. This is something that I'm definitely looking forward to getting my teeth stuck into. And the connectors will have the same features as the inbuilt connectors. So that's pretty cool. So I think as we're getting to the end of my talk and I'll open up for questions, why did I want to talk about this? My aim, and hopefully you know a bit more now, was to introduce you to some of the Tableau APIs. Not just that they exist, but how I've used them in my career, how I've used them to my benefit. How have I used them to solve business challenges? I want to get you thinking about Tableau APIs and how you can personally leverage them. Because it's not about having or not about implementing an API for the sake of implementing an API. It's about knowing that they exist. So one day when the problem arises, you have the tools in your toolbox to actually deal with that challenge. This is key for me to show you that it's a journey and you'll learn a lot on the longer way. You won't master an API overnight, but it's a journey. You'll continually get better. You'll continually understand more. You'll continually be quicker. Your learning will be accelerated. The key is it's a journey. And I personally encourage you to start that journey today. And I want to show you that Tableau is more than a data visualization tool. It can deliver, it can embed insights, data into every aspect of your organization. Data can be controlled, managed, governed by different areas of your organization. It's not that Tableau is a black box that sits in a corner providing services. Tableau can become a key and integral piece to your data landscape. And the last thing I want to talk about is the actual image. So this image is actually, I'm currently binging on TV as I'm sure a lot of you are. This is a, an example of Trash Poker Tattoo. Trash Poker is about bringing different elements together to create an appealing image. So three or four different items, smash them together and have something that's appealing. With Tableau APIs, you can do the same. You can combine the JavaScript API, the REST API, you can combine the Hyper API. A lot of these can be combined into a workflow that can deliver something that looks very, very appealing. So bear that in mind, the more you learn, the more you're able to push these and put them all together. With that said, thank you very much and hopefully you're all still here. And I would open up for questions. Thank you. I think thank you for just 
telling us about your beautiful journey of Tableau APIs. And just to mention that Tableau is not just a visualization tool. You can achieve many more things with respect to Tableau APIs. So I think with that, we'll just open for Q&A. So if anyone has any questions, just go ahead, put it into your comment box or Q&A. I will be happy to just read it out to Tom. So there is a question by Tappan over here. He says, is there any way we can bring the Python plots to Tableau? Any API should work here. This option is available in Power BI, but not, not in Tableau till today. Um, to bring a Python block. Uh, Python plots to Tableau. Ah, yes. At the moment, that is not possible from what I know. What we can do and what you can have a look at is potentially building a Tableau extract. Not extract, a Tableau extension, which basically takes your plots and renders it. So it should be possible in theory, but the key is that it will require your own dashboard extensions, which you can create. One of my colleagues created something using R Shiny. So it's definitely a possibility, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, what is the effective way to use Tap by? Any best practices you want to share? I think the key with Tab Pi for myself is to one, make sure that you set up your servers so that your server can connect to. One of my biggest problems was that your end user would use Tab Pi on a workbook, and then when you publish it to the server, it's not enabled. So to actually size your Python infrastructure accordingly, and also be cautious about the kind of chemical issues you run and the runtime because. The runtime is not governed by Tableau. Whereas if you use Tableau infrastructure, everything that you do, Tableau has control of. You could optimize within Tableau. Using TabPy and taking all your external services. You have to be cautious that Tableau won't be able to monitor that effectively. So you have to build that framework yourself. Perfect. There is one more question. When it comes to hyper APIs, it is usually a single table. Do you have any experience in creating multiple extract using Hyper API? Um, I have not, not, not at the moment. But I'm sure if you join the developer forums and if you join the development workspace on Slack, those questions can be very, very quickly answered. Perfect. Thank you, John. Go ahead and see. Feel free to ask questions, please. In the meantime, uh, what would be the three tips you want to give someone who's just starting his journey with Tableau APIs? Like how exactly they can go ahead and start it? Yeah. Oh, um, for me, the first tip would be to visit or join the Tableau Developer Program. So if you Google Tableau Developer Program, you'll see that there's a newsletter, there's a lot of information available for you. So what I always advise is just to join and potentially just read, just read up what the comments, just, you don't need to participate, not initially, because I know not everyone is that way inclined, but just keep tabs, get familiar, and then see what bites you, see what hits you hard, see what technology actually appeals to you. Because there's a lot of different APIs out there. I'm always an advocate of starting with the API, of starting learning something that you would enjoy. Or it could be you really have an interest in embedding Python plots into Tableau. So let's look at the extension API. Let's see what we can do there and explore it, chew it to the bone, and then see how it works and then move on. But once you get on that journey, once you start that journey, it's addictive. But the main thing is just to get involved and then start. Perfect. And there is a question, Don, how to trigger Tableau refresh based on database events. So what you'll do in that case is that you'll need to get your database to write or to be able to post an event or hit a REST API. Most databases do have that functionality. So what you'll do is when a database trigger, for example, hits, that trigger would call the Tableau REST API and say refresh extract number four. So it is possible. 
and our Tableau performance can be enhanced using Tableau APIs? I think yes and no. I think performance wise, not massively, in my opinion and my experience. But the key is it's about expanding functionality. Tableau is already doing its own internal performance tuning and ensuring that the product is as performant as possible. The APIs, you can try to skip some steps, but for the most part, that's not a reason to use the API in my mind. If your use case, for example, with mine and hyper, I cut I cut down the amount of data and the part of the workflow using the APIs. But for the most part, I use whatever Tableau had to great effect. Perfect. I, and I think there is a question: Is there any write back API extension to store data from Tableau dashboard back into a database? I think there are some APIs. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I think I think a few have been built, but for the most part, they will need to be configured. But yes, you do have some extensions. I believe there's one on the gallery. You can also go okay. on if you want to. Correct. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Back to you, Sagar. Any other questions? I'm just seeing that. Just a second. Please feel free. I'm here for you guys. So there's a question. Any experience of API based integrating Tableau for voice and text based assistance? That is interesting because I actually did a PLC on that once upon a time. So the answer is yes. I believe that there are a few applications out there that are actually you could purchase to do this. Now, when I built this myself, I built as a part of a PLC. Essentially, using web technologies, you could actually have voice to text recognition. So, using, I believe we use Azure at the time or Google, I can't remember to actually take voice snippets and to actually convert it to text. And then in our extension, we process or parse that text into some form of string. And based on those commands, we performed commands or we performed filtering against our dashboard. So there was a button at the top, you can click on it and say, filter by region, and then it will filter by region. and yeah, you can build a type of interactivity. I believe there are actually a few products out there, but if you want to have some fun, please do. It's a, it's a lot of fun, that stuff. Okay, let me just... so, so there is a question. Is it preferred to use Python or C++ when working with W APIs? I think it depends on your own experience. I haven't seen benchmarking. It probably does exist between the different technologies. But I think it more depends on what you're most comfortable with. Obviously, look at program languages. I believe assembly is the fastest, C is faster, C++. So it really depends on how you program. To be honest, in today's world, in my opinion, unless you are really pushing the performance angle, it's more about the coding as opposed to the actual language itself. Some languages are inherently faster than others, for sure. But I think the biggest gains is about how you streamline your own code. Perfect, thank you. Just search. If anyone has any question, please feel free to go ahead and post it into comments. Do we have any more questions? I'm just checking that on just a second. I 
think you are good. I, I will just request one thing. Do you want to just share about uh, Tableau Magic? Maybe just talk about it. I think people should go ahead and subscribe and follow it. I think some amazing content to go ahead and learn from you on that. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the part of promotion that I really don't do well. But yeah, I do have several tutorials on tableaumagic.com with regards to creating an extension. I've got a four part series, web data connectors, APIs, integration with R and Python. So there's a lot of content there for you to actually get started. Also written as introductory, so it'll probably be good for you. But yeah, do follow and let me know your thoughts. Also, I take requests. So if you have any tutorials that you really want, do let me know. Perfect. And I think I will just go ahead and what Don was mentioning about the new developers program, just talk about it. So just go ahead to Tableau Developer Program, join this. I think some amazing content is waiting for you guys. Some great challenges, connect with the community. And I think, yeah, that should help you get started. And the next thing was about Tableau Magic. I think you should definitely go ahead, subscribe to this particular section. I think some amazing content and follow Don on Twitter. I think he shares some best practices and sessions on that. I wouldn't say best practices, but I do share my opinions for sure. We, as a community, we feel they are best practices, but yeah. <laughs> but, but thank you. Thanks a lot, Ton. I think it was a pleasure to have you disconnect and share your knowledge about Tableau APIs. I hope this will help everyone to get started with it. So if you have any question, I have sponsored that. We need to reach out to him. Thank you. Thank you, Don, for coming on this connect again after a year. I will say that close to a year. <laughs> well, thank you for having me and yeah, hopefully we won't be here until next time. Thank you for all listening. Hopefully some of you are still here. And yeah, connect with all of you soon. Perfect. Thank you, Don. Take care of yourself. And yeah, yeah. keep safe everyone. Thank you.